doggies that are so cute. <laughs> uh, but today he's brought us, and this he, you're singing these for the first time the in first front of time. a live audience. I don't know any of these songs. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what this is is a new CD. It's called This Is My Town, and you know that's got to be about New York. Songs of New York. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right. <laughs> it works. You are from Brooklyn. I am. I'm from Brooklyn. I'm a New Yorker. You're a New Yorker. And you know, I mean, these albums that I've been making over the years, they always have an idea to them. Yeah. Whether it's a Broadway album or a big band album. And I've always had this idea about one of them was going to be a tribute to my hometown, New yeah. York. And this was the year to do that. So I love what you did, as you always do so well. You write your original stuff, and right. then you've also taken some New York songs that we know and love, and right. you've arranged them so beautifully. Thank you, yes. He's even done a virtual duet with Mel Torme, right. The Velvet Fog, right. I, which, I, which I know he hated that name, but he, that's... Yeah, but I, I loved him. I yeah. really did. And one of the reasons I loved him was because he, too, arranged his own songs. Ah. So I, I, and you know, I worked with him on one of the albums, too. Mm -hmm. He was a great guy, great musician, well, great singer. Well, we can't wait to hear. You're going to sing several of the songs for us. We're going to talk about the, the songs that we don't have time to sing tonight. Right. Uh, let me tell you what the offer is, if you're just tuning in. So you're going to get Barry's new CD, which has 10 tracks. It's E230566. That's our item number. And as always at QVC, Barry does something special. So he's actually added and allowed us to add a bonus CD, which is going to give you four tracks from that are live from your show in Paris, Las Vegas, right. which is one of the places we were together. That's right. And that was really That's fun. Right. So yep. those are tracks that were great, but you couldn't squeeze them onto a previous album. That's right. And, and they're nice songs, too. I mm -hmm. wish we could have, but you got them. So you altogether, them. 14 tracks that you're going to get for less than $20. So my advice to you is order now so you can enjoy the whole show. Uh, get these as gifts for your mom for Mother's Day. I've already gotten several <laughs> sets for myself to give to people as well. And and we're going to, uh, I guess, have you ha have you start. Would you like to sing something for us now? I would. Let me sing the title song. Okay. So the, the, the title song I wrote with my buddy, uh, Bruce Sussman, who is a wonderful lyricist. Okay. We've been working together for a million years. And he, too, comes from New York. So this lyric can only be written by someone who came from New York, Excellent. who loves New York. So both of us. Both of us love it. So shall I? So this is, this is my town title shall track we? from Barry's All right, Kenny, Thank you. <laughs> This is my town, this fabulous city, this inspirational town. I sing to you. This is my town, where gritty is pretty, this just sensational town, right? New York, all that I dreamed I'd be, everything I call. This is my town, this talented city, this big, tall, towering town. This is my town, where waiters are witty, this great, empowering town. The skyline here is unmistakable, and the spirit is unbreakable. This is New York. Start. This 
just blew out the door. So, I know, so come on, everybody. This is your opportunity to get this. By the way, I didn't mention this is so new. We don't even have it yet in our warehouse. It's going to ship out to you April 21st. All right. Yeah, that's so, not the date that it actually comes being out. Being released April everywhere. 21st, yeah. But nobody Great. else is getting the bonus. Uh, you're getting those True. four bonus tracks from Paris Las Vegas Live. This is the new CD. This is My Town, Songs of New York. And this CD actually covers everything. I mean, it, it's jazz. A little light like jazz, easy jazz. It's well, you know, kind of vintage I'll rock and roll. I'll tell you how it started. Mm -hmm. It was going to be a little jazz album. Mm -hmm. And then when I looked up the standards that I was going to try to put on the uh, album, the ones that I liked were the pop songs, mm -hmm. like on Broadway, yep. like downtown, mm -hmm. like uptown, like, you know, all these wonderful pop songs. So it couldn't be a jazz album. Yeah. And then I, you know, when I looked at the, at the style, there wasn't a style on the album, and it made me nervous. But then I thought, well, New York is a melting yeah. pot of styles. So then I was, I was happy about it, and I, I felt uh, that this album would really represent New York. I know that uh, you're from Brooklyn, as we mentioned, and I, 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 I found a reason. Somebody else must be here <laughs> One from person. Brooklyn. Uh, we actually um, uh, were looking up a bunch of information about you, as we always do at our house. My husband and I are digging through all the, all the interesting tidbits about lately about Barry, because yeah. you know we've done so many shows together. And I found a quote that said, you said, if you get in trouble, you want someone from New York standing next to you because if there's a building on fire, they'll run into the building, not away from it. I, I mean it. If you if you get in trouble, you want a New Yorker standing next to you. Yeah. They are the greatest people. I am very proud to have been born and raised okay. in New York City with a family yep. that you know that taught me decency. They had a great sense of humor. Yeah. And you know, you just can't play around with New Yorkers. You gotta be honest. Yeah. You gotta be straight yeah. with New Yorkers. No BS. And that's, and that's who I am. No BS. No you BS. Got, no, you've got, that's who I am. So you'll find on this new CD, it's kind of a musical montage, as Barry said. There's pop, there's easy jazz, there's Broadway, there's early rock and roll, there's some R&B, a little bit right. of funk. I mean, you yeah. cover it all. A little bit of everything, right. So we actually have um, an audience member standing by to ask a question. And who is it's it's Kareen from Pennsylvania. Hi, honey. Oh, you're Hello. talking to Barry Metal. Are you nervous? Hi, A little honey. bit. <laughs> Hi, I can Kareen. hardly remember Kareen. my name right, name right now. Oh. <laughs> so what's your question? Um Okay, I thought I was going to be talking about his favorite my favorite songs. Oh, but, please um, go ahead. Well, That's a okay. question. A question. I guess um <sighs> I don't have Well, what's question. your favorite song? Um, I have too many favorite songs. It's a Miracle. It's one of my favorite. Me too. Lay Me Down. Me too. Oh, that's a good one, too. Lay Me yeah. Down. Yeah. Too Me to Dream. Yeah. yeah. Too Me to Dream, right. One of these days, we should come here and do all of those songs as well. I know. Right? right. Would you? Yeah. Promise? That'd be great. Yeah. Okay, good. We so, can't wait. Thank you, Corrine. Thank you. So what do you think of this whole idea of an album about New York? I am excited. First of all, I'm excited about anything Barry puts out. Yeah. From my eight tracks back in 1978, from when I turned on the television, I looked at my mom and I said, I think I love him. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, I think a lot Corrine. of us did that. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you for coming tonight. And thank enjoy the rest of the show, Corrine. Thank you. Thank you, Barry. Thanks, Corrine. So, let me kind of, if you're just tuning in, this is, I always like to say this when you're here. This I is QVC. love you saying that. <laughs> this is QVC. It's Q Sessions Live. Barry Manilow is here for, I believe, the sixth time, third time in studio and uh, th three, times three times on the road. Yeah. We hope you keep coming back forever. But uh, <laughs> this is the album, and it is uh, called This Is My Town, Songs of New York. And one of our favorite places to go in New York is Coney Island. Okay, Coney Island, yes. My, yeah. My, see, I come from Williamsburg, Brooklyn, which is now a very hip place to, 
be, but not when I grew up. It was a, kind of a, a bad place to be, but the people were great. Anyway, my family and I, they used to take us, all the kids, to Coney Island, which was an hour ride on the subway. Ah. Okay, we would all go there with the, with the, uh, the, uh, the, the chairs and the umbrellas and stuff and <laughs> stay there on uh, Coney Island. It was great. Then they, we'd be all full, full sandy. of sandy and, um, Sweaty. and uh, <laughs> uh, 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 greasy and get back on that train oh boy. We're in rush hour with, <laughs> with all those people back there. But we all loved it. All I remember is great times, a lot of laughing. So I had to write a song about Coney of Island. Of course. Would right? you do that one for us? Yes. Okay. All right, go to it, Kenny. Here we go. Coney Fun. That is fun. So, I, I hear Coney Island actually has been there since like the mid 1800s. When, Coney Island. Yeah, it yeah. Kind of started and then uh, really became super popular like in the first half of the 20th century. With right? those rides. Yeah, with the rides. My mother took me on this a cyclone and I never went on a roller coaster again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was scary. That's the yeah. real deal, the yeah. cyclone, oh, right? Yeah, that was crazy. So you're tuning in for Barry Manilow Live. He's debuting songs. He's never sung these live before. This is from his brand new album, This Is My Town, Songs of New York. I want to, uh, again, mention this is less than $20, and you're also getting 14 total tracks, 10 on the new CD, four on a bonus CD that you're only getting if you buy yours at QVC, and uh, that will be four songs from your Paris Las Vegas live show, which didn't make it onto the Paris Las Vegas album, but you explained to me last time you were here, all the songs are great, but you can only put so many songs so, yeah. on an album unless yeah. it becomes like a double and a triple album. It's right. crazy. Right, so yeah, the Paris album only had a certain amount. We, are, mm -hmm. we made a DVD of that, and, uh, but uh, we, these songs yeah. that you're talking about never made it on that mm -hmm. album. I think you're, are you going to sing one of those for us tonight a little I bit am. later? Okay. I am, I am. So we'll have one of those for you as well. But this is a love letter to Barry's hometown, and I, I kind of wanted to talk about some of the songs we won't get to sing tonight. Yeah. Because they're some of my favorites. 
I love the song on Broadway. Me too. And I didn't realize that the first time I heard that song was in the 70s when it was George Benson. Right. Which was such a great And before rendition. George Benson, there was the Drifters. First, the in the first, 60s, yeah. right? Yeah. And then I also read that Frank Sinatra had done it. Did Tom he? Jones and Bobby Darin. They well, all did that song. Well, I can see how they can all do it. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderfully written song, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, who wrote it? it? Was Barry and Cynthia? Uh, yes. Yeah, Barry Mann and Cynthia Wilder. 